take take two is is the charm that was my motto in university <laughs> <laughs> welcome guys to the pre tournament interview player interview with alexis yt she is the sixth player of this tournament and Unlike everyone else who had their interview before the games, I wasn't able to get a good schedule so that I could interview her before the start of the tournament. And we just finished round one, so her perspectives will be a little different this time around. But uh, before we get into everything about that, how are you feeling with the tournament in general? Really, I feel like very chill and like just excited for the things to come. In the tournament, so hopefully a lot of things. <laughs> It'll definitely be <laughs> yeah. a lot of things. All right, so I have a I have a few questions here to ask you. You can answer them as long as you want, as short as you want. It's up to you. So, where did you first hear about Vanguard, and what uh, drew your interest to the game? So the first, the first thing time I heard Vanguard was like a really long time ago. I knew that it's a kind of a game that started after you deal. But then the recently um mutual of mine and Twitter posted about the main characters of the original Vanguard anime and I was like so interested because there's this sass, there's this character, I think it's Kai who was oh, so mm -hmm. sassy. Mm -hmm. And then like I love those kind of characters. So mm -hmm. I asked is he the sassy all the time? And then they're like, kinda. And then they're like, okay, I'm going to watch Vanguard. So I started watching Vanguard. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I started playing the Vanguard Zero on my mobile phone. And then after that, that was suddenly noticed probably my recent Vanguard tweets and then asked me to play. <laughs> that is, that is exactly you know, what happened. I Vanguard. Yeah, that is exactly what happened. I saw, oh, she talked about uh, Vanguard once. I have to ask her to join this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So speaking of you playing Vanguard in the past in, um, in the form of Zero, since mm -hmm. it's such a different format, um, you know, the, the basic mechanics are sort of the same, but the other things, the most of the cards are different. Uh, what clan are you using in this tournament for anyone who hasn't already watched your game? It's a circus. The what? Uh, specifically Silver Torn of Pale Moon, yeah. Okay, and why did you choose, uh, why did you choose Pale Moon? So originally I was going to either choose Oracle Tank and Angel Feathers because Oracle Tank was featured in the anime, I think it was with Misaki, mm -hmm. the card shop assistant owner, and then um, Angel Feathers because they just look nice and they sound nice, but <laughs> actually created a poll on Twitter whether I play with Oracle Tank and Angel of Feathers. And then I think Oracle Tank won or Angel of Feathers. I forgot. But anyways, <laughs> that's not the point because I didn't choose any of them. <laughs> I started looking for Teclodus online. And then the one thing that I noticed is that people kept on playing competitively using Pale Moon. Mm -hmm. And then I look at the card art. It looks so good. And then I'm just like, okay, I'm going to copy this and then I didn't even read the effects. Like I don't even know how to play Pale Moon until I had my first duel. After during the first duel, oh, this can do that? Wow! <laughs> so I guess I got lucky with the decklace that I found, and it's been amazing since then. Like I never felt so much happiness when I'm doing the end board that I really wanted with Pale Moon. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm happy with the Pale Moon. Awesome, yeah. I one of my closest friends, he uh, plays Pale Moon, and um, I hate him for it because whenever we play, when a certain card comes out, I know I'm going to lose. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> how has um, how has practice been? So before before the tournament started, you had a couple of practice games, right? So how did those go? First practice game, there was really a lot of training rules. I don't even know how to be my deck, how to ride, how to put cards <laughs> on my soul. And then, honestly, after that, I started learning and then I got the hang of it. And then recently, I think it was like yesterday, last night, like last night I played with Orson. And it was really a different experience because um, I'm 
The first duel I have was Pale Moon versus Pale Moon. And then this one was against Bermuda Triangle. And then I started um, learning the rat of having the same name. <laughs> you didn't even know there is that concept, Vanguard. Pacifica <laughs> is still in my mind. Something made my dreams. So yeah, the practice games were very, very fun. And very, very exciting. <laughs> That's good. So, what are the biggest differences that you found playing uh, Vanguard compared to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! so far? So, this in Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, there's a set number of zones. Like, there's like five zones for your monsters, and then like five zones for your spells and traps. Mm -hmm. Then you have the field spell, and then in Duel Links, that's three. But in Vanguard, you start with like six circles and then as you go along you can extend that and expand your front ear which was so amazing to me that's like oh there's not enough zones let's create one <laughs> so like, it's kind of fun with that and then the next thing i noticed is that in video you kind of get the hang of things mm -hmm. because it's very intuitive you draw you summon you activate your cards effects you set your spells and traps and then you attack so mm -hmm. that's kind of a simple thing with you so you summon effect and then attack so kind of like that it's a cycle of that but in vanguard there's like a lot of steps okay i draw i ride and then i summon and then i activate and then before i go to battle phase i have to do this after battle phase i have to do that and that there's like so many in-betweens rulings that i can't get used to because they <laughs> aren't intuitive enough for me yet and the next thing would be life points yes because in Yu Gi Oh, you have like a numerical life point mm. that can have like mm. fractions like sometimes you can even have deal like five damage like mm. instead of 500 and, and 50. but in vanguard there's like a whole number damage you can like deal one and one half Mm -hmm. So that's kind of different in a sense versus a numerical number. And there in Vanguard essentially you're not allowed to use uh, you're not allowed to use decimals. Yeah. So if I'm going to compare, well, Vanguard is like the integers. Yeah. And then Yu-Gi-Oh! is like the <laughs> numerical system <laughs> with the decimals. <laughs> yeah, something like that, probably. Which is very similar to Duel Monsters. Masters. Masters. If you know the game. Uh I I used to have the... um I used to have the cards, but I never played the game. I just liked the way mm -hmm. they looked and I liked the magic yeah, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All so <clears throat> uh I've asked everyone this before the tournament and you've already played your first game. So you've already played against uh, JC Peter Yu-Gi-Oh. So of the other four players that you haven't played against yet, who are you the most nervous to play against? Um, definitely Tario, Frost, or Golden Nova. And that's because they just exceed this energy, this Chad energy that they can <laughs> be with their deck. And they have this overwhelming confidence. Like when Wood, Porcelain, and JC and I duel we're like yeah uh, actually can i do this uh, uh um i'm not sure i'm not sure but when it's no went huh you want to attack me are you sure about that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i have that kind of difference in personality mm -hmm. so yeah i'm afraid to duel both of them <laughs> okay and the last question uh what are you looking forward to the most out of this tournament um i'm looking forward to like really 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 mastering the game because right now i've been losing because of my st <laughs> yeah. so like that's kind of the things that i'm looking forward to i'm looking forward to mastering the game and actually having my full force <laughs> and my full force pale moon board like <laughs> perfect board all around like mm -hmm. i want to do that like i want to experience my opponent feeling that they're going to win because I already have five damage and then I suddenly like 
some uh, ride with my li liqueur and then all of my monsters starts appearing and swarming <laughs> the field and then suddenly I just keep on attacking their vanguard and then they lose. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I wish that would happen. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm excited about. For the sake of content, I hope that happens too. I want to, I want to see it, and I want to react <laughs> to it. That'll be great. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much, Alexis. Those are all the questions that I had for you today. Thankfully, I know for a fact that I am recording this take. This is the second take for anybody who didn't listen to the first <laughs> five seconds of this video. But anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of Alexis, make sure that you check out the description of this video. Links to all of her socials and her YouTube channel will be there. If you want to see her play Vanguard, make sure that you subscribe and like this video. And subscribe to the channel. I did this first time. I can't believe I'm doing it again. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Hit the notification bell so that you know when everyone is playing. And yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I am Jelly the Casual Card Gamer. This is Alexis. We'll catch you in the next one.